can utilize that today. Well, certainly over the years since the mid-90s, Kilkenny have produced solid squads and strong performances in the Leinster Senior Cup, even beating the mighty Black Rock 14-13 in the quarter-final in 2007. Today they feel the mobile pack with the likes of Pim, Colbeck, Jacob and Angie Murphy up front. And in the backs, they will hope that the 9-10 combination of Coyle and the talented Charlie Tector can release the likes of Ryan Strong and Matthew Hodgins to get through this Newbridge defence. One late change sees Daniel O'Neill come in at fullback for Jonathan Crossley. Johnny Murphy of Munster and Leicester fame has taken over as head coach at Newbridge and with a clear focus on success at underage level, the school has increased its competitiveness at senior level. Newbridge will look to captain Marcus Kiley for inspiration, along with Leinster under-19 member Donald Conroy. Up front, there is plenty of talent in the second row with Patrick O'Flaherty and Dermot Mangan. And the son of former effective Leinster and Ireland player Phil Lawler, Donna Lawler, will lead the charge from number eight. So, Bernard, as I said to you earlier, as the Newbridge lads take to the field, Cracking day here for rugby compared to what we had to put up with yesterday. Yeah. And it should, the conditions should really lead to some great open rugby. It should. In fairness, Michaels managed to play, you know, really good rugby in the tough conditions yesterday. But this is perfect for, for running rugby. We know Johnny Murphy likes to put a lot of wit on the ball with his teams. And uh, he's got an exciting back line. But Kilkenny are well drilled and very physical. So it's going to be a real test to, to get to those edges and, and, and get the ball through the hands. Indeed, it will be a test as always in these matches. Both teams coming in for the final huddle. Referee John Carvel blows his whistle to bring both sides in as they get the last few words of encouragement from the prospective captains. Supporters here from early today to get behind their team, the Kilkenny supporters there. John Carvel will be assisted today by Robbie O'Flynn and Jason Lelieve. Newbridge will get this game underway. Sam Prendergast is the one with the ball in his hands. Not very much wind here today. As I said, conditions excellent. So no elements to interfere with this game. Prendergast goes along with that one. Taken well though. Nice feel into the game. Good box kick there from Coyle. And he gets as far as Prendergast. He tries to open it out, bring in the speedy Donald Conroy. He passes it back outside to Shannon. He makes some ground with Kilkenny defence there in numbers. It's away now by King. Using his second rope of Flaherty. And the gas. Nice little pop outside for the loose head, Peter Levy. Good continuity here from Newbridge testing that Kilkenny defence. Going through the phases. Need to protect that ball. It was illegally done so, though. Referee. Explaining that the rook was already formed. Keep the hands out of there. Good start from Newbridge, Bernard. Yeah, really good start from Newbridge. I, I thought Kilkenny were going to get that ball off when they when they went for the box kick. They seemed to stay inside the 22 on purpose, but once they missed touch, we saw Newbridge that ambition to get the ball from left to right, and we see them charging down here. That's, that's young Lawler, highly regarded in Leinster, son of Phil, and works hard on the ground, and unfortunately for Kilkenny, they just come in the side, uh, having the rook having been formed. Line, it's going to be interesting. Plenty of height on both sides today. Yeah, some really big options, both the second row and the back row. A lot of athletic uh, players. Throw from McNeese is good. He finds McGrory at the back. They set up them all. So Kenny tries to defend. It goes to ground. It's in the hands now of King. Uses his out half well. Prendergast flicks it on to Feta. King now gets it outside to a Flaherty. Uses his fellow second row Mangan to go forward. Get off the feet, number one. King. Gets it to McGrory, using these touch lines well, getting plenty of width on it. Again, King goes for the forwards. 
Patrick O'Flaherty drops the shoulder, goes forward. King now bringing in his 10, Prendergast. Little offload. Plenty of chance to go wide here, and they do that. Goes well from McGrory to Dennis, but he's chopped down at the ankles. Looks like an injury picked up in that tackle, though. As Newbridge play on and go wide. They're lined up now. Tight head prop, Ahmed. The penalty to Newbridge. It looks like we'll go back to the injury, first of all. Yeah, some really good face play there, Reggie, from, from Newbridge. Forward shown, good skills, good handling, putting the ball into space, some big carries. We just see here, they go out the back, probably don't resource the rook well enough, but the referee feels that they haven't rolled away. But there's a Kenny player injured, and he looked pretty bad, so hopefully he's okay. Yeah, was that uh, chop tackle that he took early on? It was a brilliant tackle. Stopped uh, Mark Dennis going forward in his tracks, but I think he may have taken a knock to the head in the process because he didn't move much straight after the tackle. Yeah, Mark Dennis is an interesting story. He played junior cup team and then didn't play in transition year in fifth year, just gave up rugby and came back this year to have a crack at it. And apparently, he's been one of the, the foreign players for the Newbridge senior cup team throughout the year. And that's Captain Rob Strong, or Ryan Strong, even Rob Strong was the singer, Ryan Strong. Actually, it Rob Strong. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was in first and second year when I was there. And, of course, uh, Ryan and Adam Strong, twins on this team. So good to see the captain up on his feet again for Kilkenny. Scrum now for Newbridge. Great attacking position. Just six metres out on the left-hand side. So we're not too close, please. Good, yeah. Yeah, and uh, if, look at the depth of the of the Newbridge backline. They're in three waves. You got ten and twelve up flat. A second wave of the winger and, and, and Smith at thir Kylie at thirteen. It'll be interesting to see what they play here. It's a very unusual formation. Difficult to defence. Defend this one. Scrum is solid. It's at the feet of Lawler. Passes it out. Oh, that's good hands. They've switched it back around. Excellent play. Bringing in Conroy into the line. Just falls short. Kilkenny now appear to have turned it over though. They might have got their hands on this one. Huge turnover for Kilkenny if they have to. As they try and drive their way out of this danger area. Pick and drive goes again. You see Ross Jacob in there clearing out. Ball is back now. And Charlie Tector with a great clearance kick. Yeah, it was a lovely strike play from, from the Newbridge back line. Conroy's their danger man, he's, he's played representative rugby and he put him all the way across on the left wing for, for that set piece and I think if he hadn't slipped he would have been under the post but the Kenny defending hard at the breakdown. Newbridge now, moving out along, Prendergast. King to Prendergast, gets it outside. Force Veda. Bringing in the fullback Shanahan goes to ground quickly. Bring in the big runners again. Dear McMangan drops the shoulder. He's tackled well by Scott Neal of Kilkenny. Prendergast gets it outside to Marcus Kiley. The captain now trying to find a gap. King to McGrory down that left hand channel again. Forwards now lining up. Here comes Lawler with a bit of pass out the back. Finds its way to Shane Feta. And Kenny defence standing firm so far. As Shanahan probes and tries to get that ball out to Conroy, but he spills it forward. And it's tidied up well by Adam Strong, brother of the captain. Joshua Coyle now lining up this box kick. The chases are there. Watch for Greg. Edigan as he char charges forward after. And here comes Angie Murphy chasing that one down as well. Gets his hands in there. It's there available. Angie Murphy stands on the left hand side, goes forward, make the tackle on his opposite number, Lawler. Good counter rookie coming in. King puts boot to ball, it's picked up at the back by Daniel O'Neill, the late replacement gets it out to Adam Strong he steps back inside, slips into the tackle just lost his feet there
Coming left. That seems to go forward from the tackle. Akanji Murphy now looks to find some space on that outside channel. One, two. There's two knock-ons, though. Don Carvel right there to see it. To go back for the original knock-on. Yeah, Newbridge have had the, the better start six minutes in, but... You know, from a Kenny point of view, they've kept their line intact and uh, they've certainly frustrated Newbridge at certain times, particularly around the breakdown. They're really getting numbers in there and slowing that ball down. So, um, you know, definitely, definitely a positive start from both sides, both different sides of the ball. We'll see it here again as we go down this blind side. Hand just coming in from Mark Dennis. Yeah, and I was lucky he made that tackle because certainly they had an overlap on, on, on the outside there. And you were just had too many guys around the far side. But yeah, he came in and he made he made a difference. Yeah, as you said just as well, you had the likes of Joshua Akanji Murphy out. lining up on that left hand side, the big number eight. Getting a little bit of treatment there alongside Joshua Tracy. No doubt about it. Plenty of size in both of these no, packs. Plenty, we saw in the last few matches how important and vital the forward interplay with the backs was and the athleticism we're seeing. Plenty of that here today as well. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams look, look well drilled. And, you know, it was a nice first touch for Dan O'Neill, late replacement for John Crosley, who apparently has been a big part of the Kilkenny uh, attack this year and it twisted an ankle yesterday. But O'Neill is, is a great substitute to have to come in. It's the best chance we've seen so far. Yeah, I thought it was a really well constructed set piece. Good scrum. 8 9. And then he used Prendergast at the back and he links with, with Conroy. And unfortunately, there he just slips. He's a real pacey finisher. But a uh, great defense then at the breakdown from Kenny. Super turnover from Kilkenny as we come back now for the scrum. Joshua Coyle to put this one into the Kilkenny scrum. It's solid, but the ball, ball went in before that actually set the scrum, <laughs> so they'll go back again. It's a new that. technique. It I, have, I haven't seen that for a long time, yeah, actually. <laughs> I've heard of a quick yeah, feed, but usually you have to be bound up and set. That's up the new coach now. You'll have him to be in the back for next we, week. If we can take the scrum out of it, it'd be great. <laughs> we'll go again. Joshua Coyle to get his timing right on this one. Now the scrum is set, it's solid, the ball is in, it's back at the feet of Josh Akanji Murphy. Now it's away by Coyle, puts it out towards Hector, launches a huge kick, brilliantly taken though by the Newbridge fullback Shanahan. Never faltered, recycled well, goes from McGrory to Lawler. The test again. On goes Dennis now with the headgear on. Prendergast puts that kick into that bottom left-hand corner. We spoke about it yesterday. It's the danger area. Any ball that seems to go down there finds its way towards that touchline. Today is no different. Yeah, it's a brilliant kick from Sam Prendergast. His brother actually got his first cap for the Irish in the 20s in the second row last weekend, he, or last Friday night in Cork, came off the bench. Uh, and Sam is a, is a very, the brother's a second row, but Sam is a very talented footballer. So it'll be a Kilkenny throw. Dara O'Reilly, no hooker. Looks towards the front and manages to find Dennis. Will go forward with a bad placement there. Did it go forward? Referee says no. It's there for King. Using the forward runners again. They line up on the left hand side. We've got some big forwards looking for this one. But King will go for the box kick. It's a little bit long. And it's out on the full. But a penalty coming. They're not releasing the tackler as the call in. In the tackle, ripping, the tackle the ripping in the tackle is the, is the call from referee John Carvel. So, a little bit of a let off there for Kilkenny. The kick wasn't great, but they will have a chance now to make some better ground through Charlie Tector as he strokes his foot through that ball. Uh, first, uh, they're very lucky to have a referee and experience of Johnny Carvel, former hooker for Bechtel. Um, yeah. okay. He's had a lot of experience at Pro 14, and you know, he'll get a lot of the call, most of the calls right. Must be refing you in a couple of weeks, is he? <laughs> Talking him up. <laughs> we'll cover every option, Reggie. <laughs> okay. Dara Riley now 
with the throw. It's a good throw again. Finds Noah Pym. There. Oh, big hit coming in by Mark Dennis. Find the shoulder, please. Smashing the new bridge player. Black middle dink over the top. Where is this one going to bounce? Oh, gets into hands. Was he tackled? Certainly. The Kilkenny supporters feel he was. Ryan Strong, the captain, was reaching for that one. Ribs were open and he seemed to get hit, but knock on is the call from the referee. Yeah, it was a huge hit. You know, he definitely winded. But in fairness to Shanahan, it was a 50-50 ball. He, he committed to it fully. Let me watch here. Little chip over the top from, from Tector. Very smart play. Newbridge are high in defence. Left foot and kick. You know, gives his team a chance. And, you know, man and ball there. Yeah, it was a lovely little chip over the top. On this surface, it can go anywhere. It sat up nicely. He was brave, didn't pull out of it. Reached for it, but of course, that left him very exposed. And to be fair to John Shannon, he had committed to the tackle. Yeah, it's been interesting. The last two lines for Kenny, the, the set pieces has been excellent, but Newbridge are flying off the back of the line out and getting in that passing channel between the 9 and 10. And the first time the 9 ducked in, uh, Joshua Coyle, but the second time there was no space and the, it kind of killed momentum of their attack. There's been a few injury stops in this game, so plenty of time for the teams to get their breaths back. The Kenny supporters there in full voice. They're probably happy enough at this stage, Bernard. I mean, they've been under pressure. Looked like they could have let in Newbridge on a couple of occasions, but defended well. And you know, at this stage of the game, not to have conceded, they'd be happy enough. No, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, it, at this level, it's all about feeling your way into the game, and, and I suppose dealing with the pressure. And uh, first ten minutes, first ten minutes, they, they'll be very happy. They haven't had much territory, but they've soaked up everything that Newbridge have thrown at them. And Ryan Strong gets back to his feet, finds his way back out to that centre. It will be a new bridge put in. Brian Strong's only reward for that open rib cage was a knock on. So, unfortunately for him, the ball will be handed over to Newbridge and they'll get a chance to attack off this. Scrum solid enough. Kilkenny trying to put the pressure on, but it's there. With the feet of Lawler. Goes out along the back line. And faded to Kylie. Little flick went backwards. Desperately trying to keep that ball alive. King, huge numbers on the right hand side. If Newbridge can find their way to get some width on it, go for the kick instead through Prendergast, putting it in over the corner. It's picked up by Daniel O'Neill, and he clears that one away. Yeah, it's another really good kick from uh, Sam Prendergast, but definitely, Reggie, I think that Johnny Murphy will be getting that message in that once they, they go wide the first time, it's a mismatch on the way back. Kenny were unbelievably narrow. They could have kept it in the hand there, but I can understand why they want to get territory and, and get some set pieces in the opposition half early in the game. Jeff McNeese now with the throw. Finds Dermot Mangan. Goes off the top and out along to Conor McGrory. He's running a crash ball up the centre there. Goes back to King. Changes direction. Puts it back to his fullback, John Shanahan. Puts in that awkward little kick in behind. It's got to be watched all the way by O'Neill. But he can't do anything about it. Yeah, a really, excellent kick. Really nice play. It's just a set-up play. Uh, hit up the middle with a big big back row McGrory. And then sweep back with Shanahan using his left foot. And he pins Kilkenny back. And they've got to try and get their exit routine um, executed now. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of pressure now on Jeff. In fact, on Dara O'Reilly. With this throw. Is he on? Are we okay? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to take part any further in the game. Injuries. Starting to take their toll early on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
I don't envy your job, Reggie, as commentator with the Kenny numbers. It's very <laughs> difficult to see them with the, the clash to red on black. Black numbers. Yes, it was clever design, that. Instinct, Bernard. We'll go with that. Dara O'Reilly now to throw this one in. And he finds Noah Pym. Christopher Reynolds has come on for callback. For Tracy, in fact. Can't get any clearer than that. Chase, chase. Chase. Hector now with the click kick to touch. And it seems to be the story of the game so far. Newbridge getting attacked, get themselves into position, give away a penalty. Kilkenny seems to be able to turn it over, kick, relieve the pressure. No real threat from Kilkenny as yet. No, but Kenny set pieces rock solid. Though. Their line outs are winning him, top of the jumper. And fairness, Johnny Murphy would be very annoyed with, with Newbridge's discipline because it's, it's allowing him to get a, a set piece from the set piece. O'Reilly goes to the back to pay him a brave throw. He used a Kanji Murphy to crash that one up the centre. Back down the right hand side they go from Coyle, puts it to Tector, tries a testing kick. It's gathered well though by O'Sullivan. He's scragged to the ground by the Newbridge, by the Kilkenny defence. King still has it. Friend the gas. Nine offside. They push it back outside now towards Dennis. Set advantage. Set advantage. Prender gas. Little offload, bringing in the big forward. So we'll go back though. Number nine. It was nine right offside. Joshua Coyle who was offside the whole time, so it was advantage to Newbridge being played. Nine, Defense nine, is nine. good for Kilkenny though, Bernard. Yeah, very good. They look a little bit narrow, but you know they, they seem to be able to slide off on the ball when the pass goes wide. You know, and they're really committed. And they're, you know, the, the, the counter attack they're shutting down the Newbridge back three, who are very dangerous. Prendergast now with that kick brings play to just outside the 22 for Kilkenny. Joshua Coyle there. Yes, we have middle. Six. Six. Stands out. Defensive setup coming in from Kilkenny as Jeff McNeese gets ready with this throw. Goes towards the back again. Well taken by McGrory, but it was crooked. Referee right there, he's not happy with it. And a little error is just creeping into the game. Having an effect for Newbridge. Yeah, absolutely. In fairness, the back is open and, and they probably have to go there. Unfortunately, there is still a little bit of wind. The conditions are good, but just tailed slightly down his own side. Nice flight on that ball, but you know, Johnny Carvel picked it up quite easily and uh, you know, correct call. But again, this probably gives Kenny a chance to get down the field a little bit more. The last time they've had set pieces been very much deep in their own 22. And this is this is a place where you could maybe have a little go uh, and a run option. Solid scrum now. Ball at the feet of a Kanji Murphy. They moved it out. And call again. They tried that little dink over the top. It's gathered well though. Now John Shannon with the chance to look for space and an outside good footwork from the fullback. Moved towards the centre of the field by King, trying to get good width on it. Puts it to Prendergast. Looks to his loose head prop, Levy. Again, making some ground, but not releasing. The tacklers going in off their feet. And again, the error comes from Newbridge for not releasing the ball. And Kilkenny get a chance to clear further up the pitch. Yeah, but great, um, great tackle work by Akan Murphy. He, he was on that ball really quickly. And, and Newbridge just need to, to get a support there quicker. Uh, you know, they just get a little bit isolated. Four runners uh, are getting detached from the support. And Kilkenny need that up. You can see it here. You know, here's the big loose head, Pop Levy. But just a half a second delay. And uh, Akan Murphy's in there. First real chance we've seen for Kilkenny to attack inside the Newbridge half. Throw comes from O'Reilly, but again, the line out, a scrappy affair. It's tidied up by King. They go through their get out phase. Taken forward again by Mark Dennis. Drops the shoulder, but he's tackled well. 
King tries to find a little bit of space around that outside, but it's closed down quickly. McNeese stepping in there. Back to scrum half. King is back in the position to go towards Prendergast. This one's low, though. It's a chance for Edigan, but he didn't want to risk it. Greg Edigan on that wing. Thought maybe he might have tried to catch that one on the fly and see if he could find some space to attack. Yeah, I think maybe the sun was in his eyes over there. It looks, you know, out of the shade of the stand. He definitely lost track of the ball, but a really good exit by, by Newbridge. Cormer King got caught uh, when he was trying to get a pass away. He had to play a couple of phases, and eventually Prendergast got a, a relieving kick Nine over the halfway line. He's taking the line out over, please. The throw from O'Reilly finds Jake Colbeck. It's a bit of a loopy one out towards Tector. He has to find some space. A good run from the out half. Beautiful offload comes from him. Oh, again, just couldn't get that pass away. It looked like, in fact, he slowed up as he was running forward on that Dara O'Reilly. It may be that he pulled his hamstring as he was trying to go forward. But a beautiful piece of play by Tector as he found some space down that blind side and then a fantastic offload watch it here Bernard yeah he's a danger man you know he's a great kicker but we see there he ducks down the, the blind side back towards the forwards and you know, if that pass goes to hand Newbridge are in real danger he's a, he's a really lively player ball in hand as well and showing great skills to get an offload one on one with Mangan yeah and he's not happy Dara O'Reilly just watching him down there yeah, holding no, that gone. right I've got him, but it's hamstring he's area. Right on the edge, but he's okay, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I wonder when he came through. He was like, but they're coming back on the inside, so I'm watching. Yeah. I think they were just a little bit concerned, maybe about a high tackle, but John Carvel just making sure that there wasn't anything sinister in it. I think that's fair enough. So decision to be made here, Bernard, about the Kilkenny hooker, Dara O'Reilly. He certainly seems to be struggling a bit with that hamstring, and when he tried to open up on that right-hand wing that time, uh, there didn't seem to be any any room for okay. movement, but um, yeah, he they seems obviously don't want to risk it. He's no, a good thrower. He's a great shorter. Their line has been uh, exceptional so far, and you know, obviously with that late change, with, with Dan O'Neill coming in, they've already lost one player. You know, To lose a, a key man like him this early would be you know, very difficult for him to cope with. Newbridge line out now. Jeff McNeese with the throw. They've used Lawler in the past and they're going for him again, but didn't work out on that occasion. It was well defended on this occasion by Newbridge getting by Kilkenny rather getting bodies up in the air in front of Donna Lawler before the ball reach him. Just see it there. Really good work coming in from Jake Colbeck to get in front of Lawler. Yeah, it's a great contest. Newbridge are, are going full line outs and Kilkenny are just putting a point up at two and four. And the last one for McNeilis went not straight, so they're trying to give an easier ball. But a fourth year thrown into a, an area that's been highly competed and uh, great pressure from Kenny. Now to get the first set piece, I think, in the Newbridge half of the game. Scrum is solid. Ball is there for Coyle. Moves it back outside. They bring in Edigan to try and find some space. On goes Akanji Murphy now. Strong number eight for Kilkenny. Good carry from him. Ball's there. They go in behind to Hodgins. Haven't seen too much of him yet in this game. Coyle now moves it outside to fullback O'Neill. He ships it on to the centre. It's still there. Tector looking for the forwards to take it on. He doesn't want it yet. There's too many defenders in front of him screaming at those forwards to get out and look for some carries Kanji Murphy will take that on drops the shoulder makes a half a metre again he's tackled by his opposite number Lawler it's there now for Coyle they move it Tector looks to step back inside he's well marshalled though by Mark Dennis and brought to the ground they come back down this left hand side again big carry from Chamney with now Kanji Murphy, tough man to bring down, staying strong in the tackle. Been brought down now, has it been held up? Referee is right there, but no, Coyle has it. Again, they go down that blind side, ball's available. Coyle 
Tector doesn't want it. Puts it out towards Reynolds. Takes it on another meter or so. Still, Tector doesn't want it. Screaming at those forwards to keep taking it forward. Make another half a meter. Coyle puts it out to the tight head, Craig Chamney. Now it'll go to Tector. Can he find a gap? He loves that step off the left. It's a great step. Beautiful offload from him. He finds Hodgins on the outside. It's there and it's available. Too early. In from the side, says the referee. Joe Carvel. But every time we see Tector find any little bit of space at all, Bernard, he's a threat. Yeah, fairness, you are getting good width, they're making good chop tackles, but he just has that pace to go into the line. He bounces off, stops the man there, and then that all flow is phenomenal. What a cover tackle from Kylie. Brilliant work. And in fairness, Newbridge, Newbridge think that ball is out. I think it, you. you know, he reacted off that ball come out, but maybe it bounced back in again. And fairness, Carver was in a great spot. There wasn't much in it, that's for sure. It did look originally in real time like the yeah. ball had definitely no, yeah, come I out. Sure. I know. It may yeah. have been just before that even. They came in from the side, but now after all of the play and possession being in Newbridge hands, Kilkenny have a chance to go ahead in this game. Strikes it low and hard and straight between the posts. It's a great kick from Tector, and as I said, Bernard, it feels like it's completely against their own of play. But Kilkenny have got into the lead in this match. Yeah, Kilkenny got into the lead, but you know, the fence is 50% of the game and, and they managed to ride the storm of the of the Newbridge period of dominance, didn't concede the point, kept really good discipline and went down there and capitalized, you know, with a great break from from Tector, great offload and, and forced the pressure. So, you know, and now it's up to Newbridge to respond. Dara Riley still getting treatment, getting that leg strapped up. Just waiting for him to get back. We mentioned it already, he's had a lot of difficulty with that right hamstring. Getting very, very heavily strapped now. We've had some solid performances from the back row. McCrory in particular for Newbridge, Lawler, Dennis, big carries. They've certainly been involved more than the... Uh, Kilkenny back row, you'd have to say, but um, no return for it. No return yet, but um, uh, listen, it's still early days. Uh, Newbridge went down 7 in, I think, against Monkstown uh, and only scored just for half time and ended up winning by, I think, 35 or 6 points. So they, they'll be used to that, but they'll definitely want to get the next score just to settle them. Well, they'll need to try and move this along a little bit. Gets to his feet now, Dara O'Reilly. We'll see if the strapping can do its job. So Sam Prendergast now will be able to get things underway. He goes long again. It's well taken. Oh, what a break. Straight through the gap from Hodgins. Will anyone catch it from there? All the way for Matthew Hodgins. What a score from the center. Takes it from the kickoff. Steps in the left. It opens up in front of him and he takes care of the rest. Oh, that's brilliant. You know, he, he took the kickoff. I mean, it was a long kickoff. It was deep. Newbridge had time. He was chased up. You know, there's a good line there. Kylie sends it back inside, but oh, there's a lovely block from the from the Kenny forward. Just just turns his hip into, I think it's Mangan. And obviously the backfield is weak then, and Prendergast doesn't have the pace to, to get him. But in fairness, he sends him towards touchdown. We just see here, just a lo slight little block, which is, you know, a fine part of the game. And then that's that's unbelievable pace to, to score. And what a boost to, to back up a, a penalty with a try straight away is, is a huge boost to the confidence of Kenny. Straight off the restart, exactly what you would have wanted. It's amazing the way it just seemed to open up in front of him. You wonder where the rest of the second line of chasers were, but... He, he spotted him once he was in behind them. There was no catching. Now, a particularly difficult conversion attempt. It strikes it well. Has it got the distance? It's just pulled to the left. But it's a boost for Kilkenny. 8 0. 
in a matter of 60 seconds we see it again beautiful step there and that's where it all went wrong that one missed tackle just opened the gates for him he spotted his chance and pinned his ears back great score from the center so they'll be watching this kick again where is this one going to go it's the same direction it's the same man oh it's gone slightly forward yeah, in fairness, Lawler, I think, was involved in the kick chase last time, and he obviously asked Prendergast to give him a chance to get it back straight away, and a great leap, unfortunately, just goes goes forward in the air and gives Kenny a chance to, to have more possession. Yeah, it was a good chase that time, coming up from Newbridge. It's just not able to control the ball. Scrum now for Kilkenny, feed is good, ball is there, Coyle moves it across, Detector not taking any risks, he drills this one down into the far corner, it's taken well by a Sullivan though, now he'll look to bring in fullback Shannon, which he does, the tackle is good, coming in from Ross Jacob, nails his man, big carry now coming from Dermot Mangan, ball available there again now for King, Uses his out half, back to Prendergast, puts boot to ball. Finds full back, Daniel O'Neill. He moves it outside towards Tector. Now they're trying to bring in the pace of Brent Edogan. He steps back off his left foot. That ball is available again. This is better from Kilkenny. Coyle now uses those forward runners. Defensive line well set by Newbridge. They need to watch that offside. The box kick comes in from Joshua Coyle, a little bit long, taken well by O'Sullivan. Right, it's Conroy in that way. They move it now. Again, keeping it narrow when possibly going wide is the option. This time they look to go. They're with Mangan straightness. There's still numbers on this right side. It goes to Prendergast. Can he find a way to unlock this defence? It's available now for King. Goes behind Lawler, tidies it up somehow. Prendergast ships it out along the line. And Kenny now growing in confidence with their defence. Hits coming in. They're definitely exposed on the left side if they can get some width on it, but Prendergast goes back down into that bottom left-hand corner. And again, it does its job as the ball bobbles into touch over there. But you'd have to say, Bernard, Newbridge have massive numbers here and they're not moving it out along the line. No, massive opportunities to go ball in hand and a coach, you know, like Johnny Murphy who actually likes to, to play will be will be kind of getting that message in a half time. But having said that, when Prendergast does kick, he does find that space in behind Hedogun and, and you know gives Newbridge field position and maybe at eight nil down, they might just need a little bit more than that rather than risk be turned over to White Challenge. So a big line out coming up here for Kilkenny, Dara O'Reilly. Who will his target man be this time? He's going towards the back. He's overthrown Noah Pym. It's gone loose, but it's been tidied up now. Hector gets a great little offload to his open side. Jacob, they recycle well. Hector now again. That lazy kick it looks like through the boot, but the distance he gets is huge. It's taken forward now by O'Sullivan. Oh, that was lost in the tackle, though. It's tidied up by tight head Chamney. Ball's available there again. Counter rook is good, but in over the top goes Coyle with a little kick. Where's this one going to go? It's gone over the dead ball on O'Sullivan. No advantage from the knock on by Black. It's come down back there, but we're going back. Referee Carvel says there was a knock on, so we go back to the scrum for Kilkenny. That's yeah, some really good kicking from, from Kilkenny and equally good coverage in the backfield from the Newbridge back three, Shanahan, Conroy and O'Sullivan, they're, they're not in that ball bouncing, we see them now trying to carry it back, they go for the mall here, the choke tackle, yeah, I've seen those given as, as, as a scrum for the, for the attacking team because it's a strip, but um, you know, Newbridge looking to counter-attack and once you do counter-attack if they recycle the ball, that's where Kilkenny are particularly narrow. Injuries now being picked up in this game. I think maybe Kilkenny quite happy to slow things down a little bit as they get their 
breath back after that passage of play. Come on. Come on. And Captain Ryan Let's Strong go. has certainly been Let's in the wars on. today. Yes. But it'll be attacking scrum to Kilkenny. Just on the 10 metre line. Slightly right of centre. Great opportunity, attacking position. We haven't seen much of Greg Edigan on the right wing. That's Certainly right. know that he has huge pace, and they will try and bring him in at some stage, but the ball hasn't worked its way out there so much thus far. But there's a perfect opportunity here off this scrum for maybe Joshua Kanji Murphy to go down that right side and link with Coyle and bring him in. They go to Tector instead, though. Oh. Look for a moment like Hodgins might have found a way through. Gap closed well. Coyle now puts it outside towards Jacob. Coyle to Tector. Will they go wide? They try to do so. Stay there, stay there, Black. Thought about the offload. Thought better of it, though. Tector now again with that step off the left. Powers through. Steps off the right, powers through with the left and tries to keep going. But that time he was dragged down. Chomley now, the tight head for Kilkenny. Lawler has his hands on that ball. He's trying to turn it over. But it's a penalty. I thought he was in a good position going in originally, Bernard. Yeah, he looked like he'd love to see another angle in that. Okay, what's happening is at the breakdown, the breakdown is happening, the rook is forming and then people are putting the hands in, okay? I ask them to release, if they release, then I can play on. But if they don't and they do it deliberately, I will have to sanction them, okay? There's too many penalties in the breakdown for putting the hands in. We have a uh, with them. We very clear from Johnny, but he, you know, he didn't ask them to release there. So, he, you know, he just, if he's saying he's asking them to release and they're not releasing, fair enough. But uh, I think there, he could have given Dunalawler a little bit more better communication because uh, there was nothing picked up on the ref mic Hands but uh, the yeah you have to go after the breakdown you know they can't they need to get the ball back now and, and get some territory again so Donald Lawler's obviously going to risk um, you know the opportunity there and it looked like he got his hands in pretty much at the tackle time so it wasn't afterwards yeah. as we've said but look we can speculate all we want the referee is there to make that decision and he's made it quite clear to the teams the Tector obviously fancies his range and with very little wind out today this is certainly within his range he likes to drill the ball low and hard approaches this one same format drills it really hard but he's pulled it to the left on this occasion there wasn't much in it certainly has the distance but when he tries to force that distance it affected the direction and just pulled to the left of the post. Now let off for Newbridge, there's no doubt about that. And Kenny will be disappointed maybe not to add those three points. But down they go again. Through Prendergast, going longer. Hector tries to see if a dummy will work and open up some space. Not a bad option. Oh, well now gets it out to Kanji Murphy. He tries the offload, puts it back towards Ryan Strong. Now Ryan Strong has it. He steps back inside and pumps those legs. Coyle pushes it outside towards Jacob. The competition is there at the breakdown. Oh, Coyle thought he saw a gap there for a moment, but it closed up quickly. O'Neill now acts as scrum half. Great hands out towards Tector who goes long on the outside. It looked like they might get it out to the wing, but it just closed down really quickly. And now it's a turnover to Newbridge. Prendergast tries to get some width. Now they're going for that outside channel. Ball gets to the hands of Shanahan who puts a little dink in over the top. He was unlucky though. Just went out in the fall, but the ref will bring it back for a penalty. Way back on the 22. Yeah, there's some no, great defence there from, from Newbridge on the outside backs. They're leaving the last man for Kilkenny. They're coming Red in, stopping nine. the ball. And we saw Marcus Kiley, the captain, inspirational moment, gets over that ball, turns it over. And great referee in that time by Johnny Carver because he let them play the advantage. Newbridge tried to get to wit. And when the ball didn't stay in field, you know, he called it back for the, for the penalty. So he's rewarding positive play there. Trying to gas now. What's that boot? To bring play to the halfway line. 
in Newbridge as we approach half time. We'll be desperate to try and get some score on the board before they go in for the break. Time you're under the tail. Means now. And you get this one right. They go towards the back, towards Lawler. Again, it's gone long and it's tidied up by Ross Jacob. Alert to that loose ball. They move it wide now. Hector goes long out towards Matthew Goggins, the try scorer. Hodgins, the try scorer. Boyle brings in the second row pin. Whereas that tackle looked a little bit suspicious. Boyle lines up that kick. It's taken by. It's taken easily. By O'Sullivan, he calls that mark. You'd imagine they might well kick this one out to bring Time is up. the half to the close. And yes, O'Neill puts that one out of play. And as we come to half time, in the first half that saw Newbridge applying most of the pressure, the second half of that first half saw Kilkenny come back into it. And a try from Matthew Hodgins and a penalty from Tector means that at half time it's Kilkenny 8, Newbridge 0. Restart. Take the now to get things underway. Goes long and high. It's a good kick. It's been taken well by Marcus Kiley. Chased by Ross Jacob of Kilkenny and brought to the ground. Down they come. This left hand channel with Peter Levy for Newbridge. Trying to find some gaps. Now we'll see King set up for the box kick. Chasers in the middle already. It's making its way towards fullback. O'Neill, he's done well, dinks it in behind towards David O'Sullivan. He looks for a gap, it's not there. They go out wide now. Prendergast puts plenty of width on this one, moves it outside towards Marcus Kiley. He looks to take on the defenders, makes good ground. Ball is there, available. King moves it, open again. Good hands now from the forwards as Patrick O'Flaherty takes this one forward. Connor King. Moves it outside. There's numbers on this left hand side if they can keep moving this ball open. Shane Feta goes to ground on that one. But again, Prendergast brings in the forwards. German Mangan drops the shoulder on that one. Looking to get some width now. Prendergast pushes it out wide towards Mark Dennis. Up the middle they go. That gap closed quickly though by Kilkenny. Little dink in over the top comes from Prendergast where's that one gone it's bounced awkwardly nice piece of skill there from O'Neill keeping his cool stepping back towards that touchline and now Kilkenny with their chance to turn their possession around Josh Coyle puts a boot in that one got the best kick brilliantly taken by Donald Conroy gets in the air early tries to put it in behind the defense but O'Neill was awake to that one no not, not, not off a free kick no yeah it's a great take from Conroy one on one was opposite man he tries to get on the blind side he sees there's no space puts a little chip in and Ferenc I think the referee has a good call there it's, it's tackled man and ball good kick comes from Tector yes Ray In fact, it was who made that clearance kick, of course, and brings play to 10 meters outside the 22. Newbridge now need to build something pretty quickly in this match. McNeese with the throw goes nice and safely towards Mangan at the front. Now they move it out towards Prendergast. He goes to the center for Kylie, ships it out along the line. Back inside, McGrory goes again. King to Prendergast using the tight end, bringing in Shane Feta now. Still trying to find a way through that defence. Put some width on it, works well. The step back inside, did that one look a little bit high on Donald Conroy? Referee was right there. It was enough to stop the attack, but it's better from Newbridge. Now they're getting width on it again. Kylie straightens up, he'll need some support. The backs come in to clear it out now. Rory's completely isolated out there. 
We need to get some supporters. They did well to turn that one back. King moves the ball back outside. And Prendergast bringing in the forwards. Lawler pushes it outside towards Feta. He straightens, looks for a gap, goes to ground, places the ball. It's there for King. Open they go. Prendergast out along that line, brings in full back. Shannon who passes it to Conroy. Good hands from the Newbridge backs. On they go. Dennis now drops the shoulder. Lawler supports. King moves. Prendergast back inside towards Feta. Oh, he just looks to have knocked that one forward. Oh. Just as he went into the contact area, he was about to hit the ground and it gets ripped out from underneath his arms. And that promising attack from Newbridge breaks down once again. And this was the one they needed to pull the trigger on, just off this face here. You know, they go back inside, he just loses it there in attack, but Newbridge had a massive overlap on the left. But Johnny Murphy would be happy with that, he's bringing on some impact players now. But the build-up play there, they were finding soft shoulders, they were getting around him in a way they weren't in the first 35 minutes. Benjamin Watson and Lucas Bertie Newman are the two players that are coming in. And you mentioned... Lucas Bertie Newman before Bernard he's someone that's been watched very exciting young player yeah apparently the, you know the Leinster development system there's a lot of talent coming through but he's somebody who maybe has a slightly different profile than, than some of the other kids he's got unbelievable footwork he's only 16 uh, he's very slight but um, apparently he's, he's the Jordan Armour of, of the Newbridge team in terms of being able to take people on and, and you know maybe they need that they just need a little bit of a spark and you get their hands free in the tackle just Pierce the front line of the Kenny defence because it has been very impressive. An injury there to Joshua Akanji Murphy. As he gets treatment. Not forward. Okay, respect the space, please, both twos. Thank you. Hold, wait, 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 wait. No. We'll have a kill, Kenny Scrum. Crunch! This is a big one for Kilkenny. They need to clear their lines out of here. They're under pressure now for most of this first half. It's moved away well. Again, you see that kick of Tectors as he drives through the ball. But a chance here now for Conroy. Seeing what he can do when he gets any little bit of space. He's got a lot of pace there. And again, Kilkenny just giving away the penalty. Yeah, but Conroy did so well. I mean, he was outnumbered. He, he would have thought he should have come this side to link up, but he, great fan from him. He's been electric. And I think, you know, Carvel's been consistent there. It looks like the Kenny have rights to the ball, but in fairness, he, he's gone past the ball. He has actually, actually got on it. And Conroy worked really hard on, on the ground and creates a little bit of separation. So this is a big opportunity for Newbridge, who have started the second half very impressively. Shanahan now just thinks that one into the corner. Not the corner, rather, just inside the 22. Call's been settled on. Jeff McNeese gets the message from Zia Ahmed. Nine at the front has been set up as a target. You've Lawler at the back as well. Of we don't stop the line now, Jeff. Okay, five, five. Five man. So where is this one going? Will they go towards the front? Back towards Lawler at the back. The throw goes. It's a good one this time. Off the top. Prendergast now brings in Kylie. Who brings in fullback Shannon to get some good width on it. Moved out towards O'Sullivan now. That one looked to be high. Crowd weren't happy with it. He step back inside. Comes from Mangan. So they have a free shot here at trying to do something. Newbridge. Conor McGrory takes it on again. He'll need support. Ball is available. King moves it out. Prendergast trying to get width now. There's space on that outside. Kylie straightens it up. Again, a high tackle, but he gets the offload. No advantage. High tackle. We go back for the original high tackle. I thought he might have let that one play on a little bit more. Bit of momentum coming Newbridge's way there. We see this tackle again coming in. Yeah, it just kind of slipped up over the top of him. Uh, Greg. Edigan, no, no malice in it, just a little bit careless. 
Can you put a man go for the corner here, Bernard? Yeah, they will go for the corner. I think it's a hard kick, and they just want to capitalise on, on the momentum they've had, you know, in the last six or seven minutes and maybe punish them. Although maybe they're going to go for scrum because they... They had a very nice strike play off the scrum in the first half, and the backs certainly feel that it's maybe a better Two's launching pad than the line-out. Yeah, the line have been a little bit suspect so far, so they yeah. feel better about maybe the uh, the stability of their scrum. And it's nice to see something different, Reggie. So many teams, they automatically kick to the corner, even if they don't have the yeah. number in them all. Newbridge obviously feel that the, the scrum launch is a good opportunity for them, and we see Berkeley taking a position as a hard line, but I'd imagine it's going to go wide uh, and try and get into the outside channels. Again, we've been good all day. You were right. setting up Both with the 10-12 combination, please. very flat. Okay. 12 in front of 10, in fact. Go. And an inside option of David O'Sullivan for Prendergast as well. So we'll have to get the scrum right first. It's a good scrum. It's there. Now they move it out. Bertie takes it. What can he do? Little. Wrap around play comes towards Carney. He's reaching. The captain leads the way for Newbridge. Lovely wrap around play between Lucas Bertie Newman and King, bringing back in Prendergast and Marcus Kiley coming on a beautiful hard line. Watch the wrap around here again. Everybody thought it was going outside towards Prendergast, who took up that outside channel. But Marcus Kiley comes back on a hard line and just manages to evade the tackle of Ross Jacob, reach for the line so and get that crucial score, score for Newbridge. Yeah, we said at halftime, Newbridge needed their representative players to, to get into the game and that's a key moment from him, inspirational. Prendergast now with the chance to add those two points and how crucial these points are at this stage of the game. Strikes it well. It sails between the posts. And with that Kylie try and the Prendergast conversion, Newbridge find themselves back to seven points. We see it again here. That's a very well created strike move. He said it should have scored off one in the first half, which is unfortunately Conroy slipped, but that time they played a front door option and a brilliant finish. And they needed that because you know the, the longer the game went on with Kenny on a two-score lead, the more confidence they would have had and the harder it would be for Newbridge to come back into it. So now we have a one-point game to Kenny. Worrying for Kenny, they're danger man and they're, and they're influential. Akan Murphy seems to be uh, getting treatment from that last period of play. He's, he's down in the dead ball area. Yeah, he's been carrying a knock on his arm, shoulder area for some time. I noticed it just before half time. He took a knock on it and again shortly afterwards and Joshua Kanji Murphy still down there getting treatment in that try line area. Seems to be on his shoulder. It looks like he's going to continue on though. Newbridge very clearly asking John Carvel if he's stopping that clock. Yeah, it's good captaincy there from Kylie. Uh, make Newbridge know that they're still behind the scoreboard. They, they want to get the ball back in play uh, and make sure the full 35 minutes are, are, are played. And just clarifying with Johnny Carville, the referee. But for Kenny, he's, Murphy's playing on. That's a that's a big boost for them. Yeah. Now, crucial restart here from Tector. They've got to get this one right. Try and regain possession. They go long. They're looking to pin. Newbridge back, oh, miscommunication there between Prendergast and O'Sullivan, and that's a big mistake to make. It looked like it had been knocked down as well, and that's a bad error at this point in the game. Just poor communication, Bernard. Yeah, there didn't seem to be a call, you know, and they've been so good in the backfield, they've, they've, they've hardly had anything drop, and just Bodum left there last minute, and maybe Newbridge are lucky there's not a penalty here, because I think uh, McGorry picked it up in front, and, but still, I mean, it's a one attacking position for Kenny. If they could respond to that Newbridge try with a score of their own straight away it'd be a huge moment for them yeah, it looked like Prendergast was underneath that all the way and then at the last minute just stepped away and didn't really leave his winger David O'Sullivan much of a chance because he was blind to the ball yeah well they've conceded a, a try from their kickoff reception and if they were conceded points from, from another one here from a kickoff send and they seen points from a, a kickoff reception they'd be good Big opportunity for Kilkenny though to bounce back after that conceded try a few moments ago. 
Put in is good from Coyle. It's there now. Kanji Murphy is out in that back line. Trying to use his power. But that was... Now it's again to Murphy. Edigan had come in off his wing for that one. The drive is on now from Kilkenny. Newbridge getting in there and managing to hold that one up. And that's a huge turnover for Newbridge. No, that was massive because they were really on the rack there. And that was, that was Donald Lawler who got underneath that and the rest of the pack responded to it and held, held up the player. We see here, it's a really good carry from Edigan. Gets over the gain line. Newbridge commit to the breakdown. Just luckily for Newbridge, the ball's a little bit slow. Goes back against the green. We see Lawler here and Kyle and Kylie again, the captain and the, and the vice captain, and the rest of the pack manging in there as well. And that's a massive turnover. They can exit their lines here. Newbridge will be very happy. Everybody in. They need a big scrum though. This man, you're already pointing in towards him. I want you going for the far end rather than setting the scrum, please. Okay, here we go. John Carvel not happy with the way the scrum is angling in already. Wants well, a square scrum. It's an awkward position for Newbridge here because Prendergast is a right footer. He's kind of positioned between the posts and it's a risky pass to go direct to him. So they might have to play a phase or two to, to open up the field or else they go off the left foot of Shanahan. Then they come off the left. Uh, yeah, that's the beauty of having, having two uh, both sided kickers in, in, in your team, but uh, you know, fortunately, probably didn't connect with that as sweetly as you would have liked. And Kilkenny have another chance to go after the average with a line out. Yeah, you called it perfectly, just maybe off the outside of the boot. But as you said, huge chance now still for Kilkenny, still inside the 22. Dara O'Reilly, who's managed to hang on in there with that hamstring injury of his will look to the target man of Christopher Reynolds and Callback and Pim goes towards Pim at the back it's taken well now the drive comes in for set up instructions come in from Coyle Coyle now ordering Akanji Murphy to go down that right side he breaks up oh it's been called back though it's been called back by referee Johnny, Johnny Carville just says it was broken away accidental offside from that drive in the line out see it here again Bernard yeah we see this in fairness there were you were stopped initial drive and just here is a little bit of truck and trailer we see them just stay attached for a second Akai Murphy spotted that he went as quick as he could but really well picked up by the referee and it, it was truck and trailer and it did take out the Newbridge defenders but a dangerous mall from Kilkenny I suppose Kilkenny will feel the longer they're down in this half though the less likely Newbridge are to score so they'll try and put some pressure on this scrum Put in is good from King, solid scrum, moves it out now. Prendergast tries to get some width on it. Conroy with the boost. Where is this one going? Sits up nicely for O'Neill. He takes a step, brings back inside. Gotta be careful not to go in touch. He looked like he was off his feet there in that turnover. Certainly looked like Newbridge had come in lying on the ground to get that one, but they haven't. Referee now, keeping them on side. Cormac King puts a boot on it, and that one goes out of play. Yeah, it looks so like uh, it looked like um, O'Sullivan had sort of was lying on the ground and just died yeah, from the ball. Uh, the ball must have been lost, Reggie, on the inner side because he definitely yeah. looked like he was in an offside position. But most importantly, from from a Newbridge point of view, they have managed to get out of their 2 and move their way up the field a little bit. We just see brilliant play here, you know. 15 and 11 working really well. Good tackle. We'll just see what happens. Not very sporting. Yeah? Uh, the ball was stripped actually, and uh, the, the ball goes, actually was already in his hands when, when he when he fell on the ground. So okay. good referee in there. Very good. Kenny now throws good again. Off the top they come. Tector brings in Akanji Murphy, who runs in that centre line, but he's drilled back by Mark Dennis. Huge hit from the Newbridge back row. Great move. Tector almost finding a way through that gap. They need to get some quick ball now. Come down this blind side. They do so. 
Good hands out top. Unigan looks to try and find some space. Now Coyle having a look up to see where the defensive line is set up. Set up this kick. Launches one up. Testing on Sullivan. Up he goes. A great take by the Newbridge winger. Never took his eyes off the ball. And we'll go back. For the knock on from Newbridge. We have to say, O'Sullivan has been unbelievable on the high ball. Uh, all day positioning and his bravery, his ability to catch it. I'm not sure where the knock on came from there, but you know, he dealt with that really well. And, and some massive hits, huge hit from Mark Dennis on, on the Kilkenny go to man at Karen Murphy, which will lift his team. And now, finally, Dara O'Reilly has succumbed to that injury. He tried as long as possible to stay on that pitch. Okay, the scrum now. Kenny Hector moves it out along. Little wraparound play. That's good. Gets it on the outside. It's a beautiful pass from the captain, Ryan Strong. Releasing his brother. Down that wing they go again. Again, Kenny now just making meter at a time forcing their way into the Newbridge 22 Coyle again needs help defense is good from Newbridge on they go again Tech they're looking for Witty hear the call it's a brilliant hit coming in from Gil Cormac King and he wins that ball back great turnover ball from the scrum half it's Conor McGrory now takes it forward he hits the deck and he was ripped out of his hands as he was on the ground and the ref missed that one yeah that's a uh, you know we you know when the tackle's made you can't push the ball anymore so very unlucky there but what a moment from from Cormac King Newbridge were caught narrow in defense he came in and he stopped mauling ball and all and he actually ripped it a huge moment for them you see here you know that's so impressive from from King Upper body strength works on the ground, but at the moment here, Kenny, we're, we're really looking dangerous. Yeah, it's a brilliant hit here. Watch this low body height leg drive, and we know how Cam Murphy's so powerful, but smash back. Mark so a couple of good moments for, for Newbridge in defense. The last couple of plays, Mark Dennis, uh, driving that one back. Akanji Murphy going off now with that shoulder injury. So, can Kenny just hanging on? Yeah, but they have the lead, Reggie. You know, the, the more the game is played up this side of the field, there's no chance of Newbridge getting a kick up a penalty. They're really putting pressure on Newbridge to, to maybe play a little bit overplay in their own half because the longer the minutes go on, the more anxious they're going to get. Changes being made. Joshua Coyle and Joshua Akanji Murphy going off. And Fink O'Byrne and Liam Foot coming on for Kilkenny to bring fresh legs in to try and see them to the finish line. I think Newbridge will feel very hard done by on that turnover, though, as they went to ground. Yeah, the tackle was definitely <laughs> over, and it was ripped off. The yeah, it was ripped off, and then you know, the, the Kenny seemed to be getting a couple of 50-50 calls. But well, here's that set piece try. You know, Bertie just off the field, lovely hands, great timing from King and and, and Kylie, and that's a big score. But Kenny have shown, you know, they're dangerous off the set piece as well. The last room they had in this area of the field, they nearly got around the Newbridge defence with a, a very nice backline strike attack. These injuries to kill Kenny, it's taking so long every time. Slow down the momentum of the game. Yeah, so we're here. almost ready to go again. But he must. You must start with the knock of the knife. Yeah. Come on. It'll be a Kilkenny scrum. Leave foot. Back, number eight feet, and you start with the nine. You start here. Yeah. All we'll right. get his chance. Steady. Cut. 
to get involved in the game. Scrum is solid. Base ball is at the base. Foot moves it outside to Tector. He'll look to put plenty of sky on this one. Goes high over into that far corner. Brilliantly taken by John Shanahan, the fullback. Now they move it from Lawler. Oh, that pass just going down around the toes of Donald Conroy when it needed to be in front of him. Conroy couldn't hold it, spills it at his feet. Yeah, Shannon Shannon does brilliantly here, and he just plays dead on the ground for a second. And Lawler sees that Conroy maybe has a little chance to make some space on the outside, but unfortunately the pass is at his, at his boot laces. Yeah, there was a great opportunity out on that side for someone of, of Conroy's pace. There was some space there that he could have taken advantage of. Crouch! So Kilkenny again with the put in. Clock ticking down. Nicely for them, not so nicely for Newbridge. Foot now moves it away from that scrum. Tector, little wraparound play comes again. Big hit coming in from Marcus Kiley of Newbridge to stop that play in its tracks. They'll go again though. O'Neill looks to go forward. Lawler now in there battling for that ball. And it's hit the deck. A oh, little twist and roll and turn coming in from Fico Byrne. Yes. And Newbridge now have gotten in there and have managed to turn that one around. Yes, big, big play. Newbridge getting in at that breakdown. Hooker, Jeff McNeese, managing to get himself into the position. Turn this one over, see it again here, Bernard. Yeah, big defence again from Lawler. They're trying to hold him up, but he gets his knee on the ground, so the ball is transferred here. And he just gets it a bit isolated. The rest of the team don't know he's gone. And great body position from the hooker to get in over that and get a key turnover because Kikenny are building confidence in the game and playing a lot of the game in the, in the new half. Plenty of time left. And now Newbridge with this line out. Jet McNeese will throw this one. Is Lawler at the back as an option? Is Mangan at the front? Will they just play it safe? There is a defensive pot up against them though. Not want to take too many risks here. Substitutions being made. As we see. The throw goes to the front. Off the top. King gets it out to the centre. Kylie now pushes it out along that back line. In comes Luke Dunleavy with a big carry. And they're trying to keep it Lawler. Footwork here, great work from Lucas Berti. Where's that ball? Oh, Kilkenny just managing to get in there and turn that ball over. Good initial play coming from Newbridge. We we'll see yeah. it here again. We see him going to back to Berti. We said he has good feet. You see him going inside, and he gets this all thrown away. But unfortunately, they just lose their support. Kenny are in over that ball. Kylie tries to shift him, but brilliant play by the Kenny forwards to get in and, and get a key turnover when Newbridge seemed to have momentum. Fieke Vern it was that got in there, got his hands on the ball quickly and turned it over. Great play initially from Newbridge, but as you said, Ahmed just getting isolated in the end. Lack of support guys, there coming in. Guys, we're losing the rhythm of the game. Yes. Can we please either make decisions on, 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 on players, substitute them, or fix them quickly? Yeah. We need to speed it up. That's okay. a fair call from John Carville. Every time the, there's a, an injury to Kilkenny player, it seems to take yes. quite some time to get them back. Everyone and amazingly, he's back on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> they have had a few injuries, but um, you know, a lot of them have been at key times and in, in, in the right moments to try and kill momentum. But I suppose it's good game management. And at this level, referees have to stop and respect the, the, the man down. But a really good referee by John Carville just trying to say, look, and make a decision. So Kilkenny now again with a good kick from Tector. Nice. As they try and run the clock down, Scott Neal has taken up the responsibilities of these line out throws. He's got an option of Fig or Burn. They go back towards then. The throw is high though, and it's been stolen on this occasion by Benjamin Watson. Now, what can Newbridge do with this one? There's the danger man, they get it out towards Kylie. 
bringing in Shanahan and ships it on towards Conroy. They need to be patient here in Newbridge. The defense is good from Kilkenny. They make good ground. Prendergast gets it in behind to the danger man. Good run here from David O'Sullivan. But sort of running into each other, the Newbridge players, a little bit. There's a break on this left hand side. Luca Berti looks to go. He stopped though. King now pushes it outside towards Mark Dennis. They look to go open. Prendergast trying to get width. They push it out to Shanahan who pushes it on towards Dunleavy. Where's the ball? King comes in. Prendergast. Soft little pop to Dermot Mangan. Still there for Newbridge. On goes up Flaherty. The forwards now trying to mix it up with the backs. King, Prendergast, out towards O'Sullivan, Bertie. Big skip pass attempted there, picked up by McNeese, and they just need to regroup a little bit, Newbridge. Starting to panic a little bit. Benjamin Watson stands there to take it on, the big man. Drops the shoulder and pumps the legs a bit. King now pushes it out towards Prendergast again. In goes Dunleavy. King to Prendergast. Oh, that one looked forward. And it was David O'Sullivan. Joe Banks is putting the nine in. Putting the nine in. They go back for the penalty, though. I didn't see that one, Bernard. Yeah, it seems it pulled in the I number nine. In nine and just slowed the ball down a half a second. But Newbridge have found their attacking shape now, and they're, the they're using the Levy off the bench, actually, as a big ball carrier, and he's getting over the gain line. But Bertie looks so dangerous in the outside channels, and they've probably been just a last pass away from actually Bertie's. really going and, and hurting them. But more positive for, for Newbridge, but... Kenny defense is very stern. This is a big call now. Watch the number nine. So there, being pulled back in, is the call from the referee. Oh, well. Technically, it's right, but mm -hmm. probably didn't affect the game. But uh, he can't touch the nine, as, as we know. Well, it's a big call and a golden opportunity here for Newbridge to take the lead in this game for the first time. And the gas now strikes it well. Has he kept it inside that post? Yes, he has. Just inside the right upright. And as we come into the last 10 minutes of this game, Newbridge have found a way to get themselves in front. And now it's Kilkenny who are showing the urgency. As they see the game slipping away from them. Big restart here Major coming from time. Tector. He goes long. The chase is on from O'Burn. And Ross Jacob puts him down. King now puts it behind to Prendergast. Where is he going with this one? Dangerous play from Newbridge. Have to be careful not to be isolated in there. Danger of a penalty. Prendergast now. Big kick coming from him. He caught that one well, but it sits up. Doesn't find touch. Strong now. Good play from the winger. No Keeps his feet well. Push ace, push back. Down that blind side they go. Brian Strong, the captain. Push. Pushes it out again. There's numbers on the open side, but they go blind. Referee just getting into the way. Brilliant hand coming in. It's gone loose, but it's been picked up again. Ross Jacob. He's had a huge game for Kilkenny today. Foot now tries to get things started again. Tector, that trademark step off his right foot, drops the head and shoulder, goes through the semi gap. It's moved out wide now, taken on by Chamney. He goes to ground, foot, got change direction, go back. Isolated there, big hit coming in from Lawler to drive him back. That loose head side, left hand side of the pitch. Oh, it's been knocked forward by Ross Jacob, it seems. And Newbridge is now with their hands on the ball. King puts it out to Prendergast. Good pass from Bertie to O'Sullivan. He finds space on the outside. Brilliant tackle coming across on David O'Sullivan. And it looked like he may well have gotten away on that outside. Uh, the captain 
comes across and makes a try saving tackle Ryan Strong oh this is brilliant defence here Newbridge go to wit Bertie just fixes gives Sullivan a chance he takes him on the outside and look at that scramble defence from Kenny they're defending with everything they have use a touch line brilliant play super super defensive tackle coming in there from Ryan Strong and there's players down everywhere around the pitch three from Kilkenny now suffering with cramp yeah, and Ubers captain Kyle, he's coming off. I think he had a little bit of cramp in the last phase of play. He was he was trying to stretch out his calf at, at the breakdown. Ubers are down to 14. But some big hits coming in from Newbridge. You know, at key moments as can he try and get back up the field. Well, well hang on. It's your player that's hurt. I know, but with the, the, the touchdowns don't get marked, so that's okay. He's still there. All right. I've been really impressed with the Newbridge outside defence. They're really aggressive. They're getting up into that passing channel and, and not letting Kenny get soft yards on the edge. Well, they're going to have to find something magical now. Here we see the pass from Bertie Newman was excellent to find O'Sullivan on that outside channel. It looked like he was gone. There was very little cover, but Ryan Strong never gave up. Backed himself to get there and a beautiful tackle around the ankles to stop what looked like a certain try in the corner. But well, Kilkenny Reggie's, now. It's a very dangerous lead for, for, for Newbridge because Kilkenny have shown they have the individuals who can go the length of the field. Yep. You know, like likes Hector and Hodgkins. They need to make this lineup work first though. They're under pressure and time is running out for them. going on for the Kilkenny players referee just giving them a moment or two and yeah, they really have been badly hit by injuries during this game and obviously we spoke about before the game losing losing John Cosley but um, they've had a lot of runner repairs yeah okay we're back huge throw for Scott Neal Kenny again shorten it down to five go towards the front guaranteed ball make sure of that one now they've got to find a way to work themselves out of their own 22 and all the way down the pitch foot moves it out that one looked a little bit high they answers the referee foot now puts it towards Texter crossfield kick he looks up to see Ryan what a take that is from the winger can he get away is there any support around him Still, he keeps going. Adam Strong. Unbelievable strength from him to stay upright. The Kenny by no means done yet. Now they look to move. A Tector again drops that shoulder off the right foot. Looks to go forward. Down that blind side they go again. Interception comes. Oh, John Shanahan. Looked like he was through that gap. He felt he'd read it perfectly. I thought he was gone, but it was called back for a high tackle previously to that. Yeah, the high tackle, but what a kick from, from Tector. He felt he was pinned. He totally changed his body shape and put a brilliant crossfield kick to Adam Strong. And then he he, he was just totally isolated, but his body strength, he knocked out three or four numerous players down. Look at the quality of that kick. That's brilliant. He takes it against two players, steps back inside. Realizes he's isolated, stays strong and stays upright. And now, as we approach inside the last five minutes of this game, Kilkenny with one last chance. But if Tector had went for the conventional exit there of kicking it out or kicking a box kick, Newbridge probably would have possession. Now they managed to move 60 yards up the field and have possession again. Possession is the key to this next five minutes. They must Let's maintain go. it. Let's go. And Newbridge have got to try and find a way to get their hands on it. Scott Neal now with the throw. They go towards the back. Is it going to reach? It's taken well by Pim. Off the top to foot. Tector now. Free pass. Back in front. Foot goes down the right-hand side. Oh, Tector tried to give that pass back inside. They're saying there's interference when yeah, he was trying I to think, run. I think maybe Lubbers are lucky there. Uh, I think it was a nice play, it was a power play. Trying to go back down the inside with an inside pass. 
Uh, it is a knock on, but how can. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, for John me. Carvel was definitely in the way. For me, that, that should be a scrum to Kilkenny. Yeah. You know, because he did get in the passing channel. And a massive relief for, for Newbridge. If they win this game, you know, that'll be a, a contentious decision. It will. There was nowhere they could have gone. It was just an accident. Oh, it's been turned over. Kilkenny have it. They go down the right hand side. Step back in. Comes from Hodgins. We know what pace he has. On they go again. Neil now drops the shoulder, makes it available for foot. Kenny still in this game, still with a chance to steal it at the death. Ball is there available. The pick and drive is on. Foot now looks to use some of the bigger forwards out there to carry. On goes Reynolds. Right hand side is open now. Tector the step. Again, the tackling is good. They need to clear out Neil Kilkenny. Ball is there available. They look to go down that left hand side. The pick and drive is on. Ball is available again. Once more, they pick and drive. Newbridge worked their defensive line. Tector is lining up on that left hand side. They could always inch closer as well and maybe set up a drop kick opportunity. That's the two points between these teams. Foot puts it outside. Tector now. Brought to the ground by Lucas Bertie Newman. Foot will look to Neil and the rest of the forwards to make another meter or so. Newbridge can't afford to give away a penalty. Must stay on side. Got to leave that ball. Referee is right there. Inside the last two minutes. That's a big hit. The Newbridge defence stands firm. Huge hit coming Let's in from Drop Watson. goal, Reggie. Drop goal chance. Tector. Has he found the direction? No, it's out to the right of the post. And that one is touched down by O'Sullivan. It's a brave decision to go for it. Yeah, in fairness, he was gearing up for it. He got his pack to pick and go. It's an underused tactic at school's game. But he was lining up. He backed himself. Unfortunately, he was just... For Kenny, he was just a little bit off target. But fair play to him having, having the, the ambition and, and uh, I suppose, the confidence to go for it. And they're still here, though. Newbridge now will have to kick this one as far downfield as they can. And now Newbridge are in no rush to get the game back on, and they're taking on water and injuries. Um, you know, they've got a one-point lead, very dangerous lead, particularly being stuck so close to your own line. You know, it's been a really entertaining game of rugby here in Energy Park. Two teams giving absolutely everything for their prospective schools. You see it here again. Steps back in the pocket and it just seemed to skew off the outside of his boot and was always heading towards that right direction. Didn't quite catch it as sweetly as he would have liked. And in fairness, he was under big pressure at the numerous defence. They saw he was lined up in the pocket and they got to his right foot. It just took him off a little bit. They've got to go now. Tector steps again. Have to find a way back down into this Newbridge half foot. Ships it outside. Good hands. Taken forward now by Hodgins. He looks for a gap. He's halfway through. It's available for foot. They'll have to go open. And they do. Big long pass coming out on that outside channel. On goes strong. Still alive. Got to keep it in play. Oh, there's a knock on there as they try to flick that ball back inside. Beautiful hands from Tector to push it outside towards Strong. And they did everything to try and keep this one alive. Watch it here. Big, long, looping pass goes on that outside towards Strong. He takes it forward. When he hits the deck, it's great defence again coming in from Conroy. But as he hits the deck, I think it was Figo Byrne who just couldn't quite control it. And now... Is that the game for Newbridge? Well, last, the, the last scrum, Newbridge uh, lost it against the head, and in wonder if Kenny got one more chance, could, could they score? What bravery from Kenny, what skill set to be able to, in the 69th minute, get that ball to, to wit like that? And, and they really had a good goal, but likewise, the scramble from Newbridge was brilliant. King missed the tackle, but his buddy Conroy was there to, to make it and use the touchline. 14. 14, 14 seconds, Reggie, seconds yeah. is the call, yes. There couldn't be anything more clear.
scrum. Executed. Ball back. All six of you, please. And if McKenny heard that message, they'll have to go after this breakdown. They can't afford Newbridge. Let Newbridge play too soft. Easy phases are going to be all over. Scrum is good, they need to work it back, pressure comes on from Kilkenny, it's there, at Lawler's feet, King now pushes it back outside, it's taken forward by Donald Conroy, this now is time up, the ball will be there for King, he pushes it back towards Brendergast who kicks it out over the far terrace, and Newbridge have come from behind in this game to steal victory, from Kilkenny in a fantastic schools match. Oh, brilliant. Uh, I feel good for Kilkenny because, you know, they could have easily won that game. They were outstanding, very well drilled, so brave, well, very fit, very skillful. But just Newbridge probably edged it slightly, uh, you know, over the course of the 70, 70 minutes. But Kilkenny can, can have massive pride in their performance. Absolutely. It was a huge performance for them. They were under pressure for most of that first half and still managed to get themselves into a position where they went in at half time. They'll lead. They'll lead. Fantastic play for them, but you have to give huge credit to Newbridge as well. Who could as well? Who can at 